I just want stuff and I can't have it. Daniel Fast, day eight, and I'm feeling that, I just, these little feelings inside, like have that, you want that, and I have to deny myself constantly. Today, I'm just feeling like I'm constantly wanting something that I can't have. I mean, that's the whole point of the fast, is to feel that feeling, that desire, that want, that personal gratification, and then deny it not have what you want and you know practicing self-denial it's that muscle of denying oneself that can easily go unused <laughs> because especially in this day and age we get whatever we want you want something you get it instant gratification and you know you do whatever and nobody would fault you because you just need to be happy and you get what you want but you know what, that's not the purpose of this fast. The purpose is to take away things and feel that loss, to feel the pulling away and being sustained without it. And the goal is to have God sustain you through not having what you want. So I definitely wanted, it was cold this morning when I woke up and I really, really wanted a hot cup of tea. Like I wanted to make tea and just have the hot mug warm up my hands and drink it. I put cream in it to make it creamy, a little flavoring, maybe some hazelnut, a pumpkin spice or something. I just really wanted that this morning. <laughs> and I got hot water with lemon instead, but it was still warm. But anyway, I had to deny that. I, I definitely started praying and you know, really just getting perspective. Like, so what? You can't have a cup of tea. I mean, if you think about it, the things we're giving up for this Daniel fast are small things in the big perspective. Like, for 21 days, you can't have certain foods. Whoopee. If you think of the big picture, so? But in the moment, it feels like, I don't want to, and everything in you is ugh, struggling. And that's really the goal. And I'm in encouraged by the struggle and recognizing, you know, with perspective that it really isn't a lot to give up. I mean, Jesus gave up his whole life, but also that the pain, it wasn't even just a quiet, let me just give it up. It was painful and it dragged on for hours. It was just, uh, you know, more than I can even articulate really. And this is just a teeny minuscule piece of a portion of a possibility of feeling some kind of self-denial. And I'm just really, I'm moved by how easy it is for me and people to feel deprived. So I'm grateful for this exercise and this fast and being able to, you know, work through and feel these things and put them, you know, take them, they're big, this feel, and put it small, put it in its box, and then put it in perspective with the big picture. So I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm also thinking about just faith in general and how faith grows through experiences. Like something will happen and your faith will grow a little bit and something else will happen will grow a little bit. And each time your faith grows, you see something or you see God at work, you see some promise made, you see something worked out, your faith grows a little bit and it grows a little in a little each time. So that makes you stronger for the next challenge or the next thing. So even as I'm depriving myself of my hot tea or my special food that I like to eat or whatever it is, I'm then getting to the point where my faith will grow even more. So the next challenge I will face it more boldly, with more courage, more trust, more faith. I will also say this from a physical perspective, I don't really feel a lot of physical loss. Like I don't feel super hungry or like I really, uh, my body's feeling exhausted or drained out. I'm not feeling that, but I am, it's more mental like or habitual, you know, you're used to having a certain thing at a certain time or certain foods or drinks make you feel a certain way, the emotional connection or the circumstantial connection. That's all the piece that I'm wrestling with, which is more mental and, you know, comfort rather than a physical need for food or nutrients or things like that. So that's it. 
that's my little tidbit for today with the Daniel fast. And I hope that if you're doing the fast along with me, you'll leave some comments below into what you're coming across or what kind of insights or whatever. And we'll just keep plugging right along. I guess I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for day nine. Easy.